In this video, we have two trigonometric integrals. And we can use a u substitution in both of these. We notice we have an odd power on the sine function. So what I'm going to do is break these up. They give me a sine squared of x to the second, and then cosine to the fourth. And then I'll put the sine of x on the right over here. So it's the same thing. Sine squared times sine is sine cubed. And then I'm going to pick my u substitution here. So I'm going to let u equal to cosine of x. So du would be the derivative of cosine is minus sine of x dx. And notice I have the sine of x dx right here. So we're going to multiply both sides here by a negative. This will then be positive on the right side and have the minus over here. And this would be equal to wherever I have a uh, cosine, I might have a u, a u. So notice here I have cosine to the fourth and this is an x here. And notice again, just to save some time here, I have the identity cosine squared plus sine squared. I abbreviate this equal to 1. Cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So wherever I have a sine squared, take this over, that's going to be 1 minus cosine. So sine squared here can be replaced by 1 minus cosine squared. But remember, cosine is u. I'll just put a u here, just to save some steps here. And then cosine to the fourth of x, and then cosine is u, so I'll put a u there, and that'll be u squared. And sine of x here, sine of x dx, that's my minus du. Sine of x dx can be replaced by minus du. So I'll put the minus over here, and then this would be a du here. And now we can just simplify this. So this is going to equal to, let's multiply 2 by that negative there. That'll be a minus, and a minus again, that'll be a plus u squared. And that's multiplied by u squared du. And one correction here. It's just u here, so it's to be u to the fourth. So this is the fourth power here. Fourth power here. And then we multiply two by u to the fourth here. I get the integral of u to the fourth times a minus one is minus u to the fourth. And then u to the fourth times u to the second is u to the sixth. So we got u to the sixth here. And now we're ready to integrate with respect to u. So this would be a minus u. Add 1 to the 4, we get a 5. And then divide by that basic integration. It'll be a plus here. Add 1 to the 6, we get u to the 7th. We divide by 7. And that's plus the constant of integration. And that's pretty much the integration. All we have to do now is go back to the original variable. So this will be a minus u is cosine, so this will be cosine x. That's to the fifth power. I can put it here. Well, I can put the whole thing in parentheses there. And that's over 5. And then it's plus u again is cosine. So I'll put cosine here to the seventh of x over 7 plus the constant of equation. So we get the final answer minus cosine to the fifth of x over five plus cosine to the seventh of x over seven. And that's the solution to this one. Use a U substitution. And of course you have to know your basic uh, trigonometric identities. In this case, we use basically just one. The fact that if you take uh, any angle, cosine squared of that angle plus sine squared of that angle is equal to one. Now for the next one, I got secant of x, 
So first I try to simplify this. Let's actually see something that will work right away. I try to simplify this. So secant of x, that's the same thing as 1 over cosine. Because secant and cosine are reciprocals. And tangent and cotangent are reciprocals. So if I take this up to the top, that becomes a cotangent squared. But cotangent squared is the same thing as cosine squared of the angle, in this case is x over sine squared of the angle. Again, secant of x is 1 over cosine, that's how I get this one here. And then this I can just take to the top and name it uh, cotangent. Or you can look at the tangent squared of x is the same thing as 1 over cotangent multiply by the cotangent squared. And it gives me this, cotangent squared, but then cotangent is cosine over sine. So that's how I get cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. And this is dx here. And then I can reduce this here, this here, and this x divided out, giving me 1 here, 1 cosine. So this is equal to the integral of cosine of x over sine squared. Sine squared of x dx. Then I can use a u substitution here. Got the cosine dx on top. So if I let if I let u equal to sine of x, then du would equal to the derivative of sine is cosine. So this would be cosine of x, and then this would be dx, and then we go to the u substitution. This then is equal to convert the integral. Again, the numerator I have cosine dx, but cosine dx is du. This would be a du here. And sine is u, and I get sine squared in the denominator, so this would be the same thing as this kind of u squared. We integrate with respect to u. Let's bring the u squared up at the uh, numerator, it makes it 8u to the minus 2 du. Now it's a sim simple integration with respect to u. So we add 1 to the negative 2, we get u to negative 1. And then we divide the coefficient by negative 1, so let will put a minus right here, plus the constant of integration. Now we just go back to the original variable. So I put a sign right here for the u is. So I have a negative, negative, and then I can put parentheses, sine to the negative 1. But sine to the negative 1 would be 1 over sine. But 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant of x. Then I have the constant of integration. Now I could have left this as sine of x in parentheses if you want sine of x to the negative 1 but sine of x to the negative 1 is the same thing as cosecant of x because they're reciprocals. So this is your final answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.